Hi everyone, I'm Marie and today we're going to be learning about while loops in Python. What is a while loop? A while loop lets you repeat code over and over as long as the condition is true. Let's get started and I'll show you how to create while loops. Let's get started and let's go to replit.com. Once you're on replit, go ahead and create yourself an account. I'm just going to log into my account. And then once you log in, you're going to press create an app. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to code in whatever language you want to use. And some people do create apps on here, but we're just going to use it to practice coding and make sure you use language, select the language in Python. To start off, I'm going to import the random module in Python. This is a built in module, which basically means it comes with Python already. And we don't have to create it and we don't have to write it ourselves. It's already built in. And what this module does is it can make random choices for our code. So we want to use that. So to use the module, all we have to do is write import and then the module name. So the module name is random. So we're just importing that module into our code. And then we can use the random module functions. So one of the um, functions that I'm going to use is random integer. What this will do for our while loop is it's going to create, it's going to generate a random number. And the format for that is random.randint, short for integer, because we're calling on that. We're going to use that function in that module. So random is the module. And then the rand integer is the built in function. So we're going to call, we're going to use that built in function where it can generate a, a random number between one through 10. So, and you can use whatever you want it to generate, whatever range of numbers I want to generate it. I want it to generate a range of numbers from one through 10. So go ahead and you can just give it a range. Mine is going to be one through 10. And then we need a place to store that secret number that it's going to generate. I don't know what that number is going to be, but Python does. So we need to store it somewhere. And we're going to store it under random underscore number. That's the variable that we're going to store. That Python is going to store that number for us. So we can use it in our code, in our while loop. And I created a comment right here. I'm going to say, let's get user input and have the user enter a number slash try to guess the number, the secret random number that the random module is generating. So we're going to try to guess the number in our while loop. So I'm going to create a user input to grab that, the numbers that the user is going to guess. And I'm going to say user underscore input equals, and make sure you use that integer function because we are grabbing a number. We're not getting a string. The user is not typing their name or anything like that. The user is typing a number. So we need to make sure that we use that int function short for integer because we're going to be grabbing a number. Because the input function grabs strings. And I'm putting that integer function before the input because, because the input function grabs strings, I want to convert that string to an integer so our code doesn't get a syntax error. So the input function is basically inside that integer function and it's going to convert. The integer function is going to convert Whatever is inside that input function, like the user is going to type in the number nine, it's going to convert that to an integer. And I just changed our variable name. I wanted to change it to secret number instead of random to match our input. And let's get started with our while loop. I'm going to zoom in more so you can really see this. 
And I'm going to do another comment. I'm going to say, let's start our while loop. And these comments are just helpful to show what we're going to do with our code. So let's start our while loop to loop through, loop through slash look through the numbers the user enters. So what the while loop is going to do is it's going to loop through and it's going to keep running and keep getting the user's input. It's going to look through the user's numbers that it's inputting and it's going to keep on running until the user guesses that secret number. And once the user guesses the secret number, is when our while loop will end and our while loop will exit and it will stop running. But until the user enters that secret number, it's going to keep looking for it. So that is what our while loop is going to do in today's code. To start our while loop, we are going to go ahead and type while and then true with a capital T. What this means, oh, and then our colon at the end. The colon is super important when we are writing if statements, while loops, because we want to tell Python, hey, this is part of the code under here is part of the while true statement. And we need to have that indentation. The indentation is super important because without it, Python doesn't know what it's a part of. You see how it gives us that indentation when we put that colon there? It gives us that indentation because Python knows that that's a part of the statement above. And it's going to make more sense as we keep writing the code as we go along. We are also going to use if statements in our loop, which we can do as well. We can write if statements in the while loop. So this is going to keep going. So while true means keep looking through the code, keep looking through it until until it gets that, um, until the user finds that number. My if statement that I'm going to create is I'm going to say if the user input, So that's whatever the user is going to type in because the user is going to try and guess that secret number. So, and it's storing it under the user input variable. So we're going to use that variable, user input variable. And I'm going to say if the user input is equal to, the equal to is two of the equal signs. That's the comparison. If the user input is equal to the secret number, which is that secret number that the random integer function is going to create, we're going to say if the user input, whatever the user is giving us, is equal to that secret number that Python built-in module is going to create, make sure you add your colon. Then we're going to print out this right here. We're going to print out. Yay, you guessed the secret number. And in our while loop, we also need to add that colon at the end of the if statement. So Python knows, okay, this print statement is part of the if statement above. And then the if statement above is part of the while loop above the if statement. Now, The else is going to be the next condition. We get our first user input, which is outside of the while loop. And that allows us to enter into the while loop when they enter their first number. So let's say they press five and they try to guess the secret number as five. And if that's not the secret number, then we need another condition. So in our else, we are going to get user input again because if they don't guess the first they don't get the secret number on the first try we need to go ahead and ask them to keep guessing so that is what our else is going to do and we're just going to grab the user input again 
and we're going to ask them to enter in a secret number, another number. And before the enter another number, I put slash N. What that will do is it's going to format enter another number. It's going to put it on a new line. Okay. Let's go ahead and so yeah, enter another number is just going to be like its own separate sentence. That's what the slash n is going to do. Let's go ahead and run and test out our code and see how it works. So you're going to go to the console and press run. And it says, hello, please guess the secret number from 1 through 10. I'm going to guess it and I'm going to enter in 10. It says, sorry, keep guessing. Enter another number. 9. Sorry, keep guessing. 8. Okay. So we guessed the right number, but I'm having multiple prints of that saying, yay, you guessed the secret number. So something is off in my code. Because it's not, it shouldn't, it, keep, it keeps looping, you know, it's not ending. So yes, I guess the right number, but my code seems to be printing print, a print statement multiple times. So we didn't exit out of our while loop. So it keeps on running and it keeps on printing that print statement saying, yay, you guessed the secret number. To stop that, I'm going to, I forgot to use the break in Python, which I will show you what that's going to do. So under our print statement, I'm going to go ahead and type break. And break is basically saying, break that go ahead and stop it. So after the user guesses that secret number, it will print out, yeah, you guessed the secret number, but it's not going to print it. Um, it's not going to print it um, forever. It's not going to go on and print that forever. It's going to break it. So it's going to stop. It's going to exit the while loop. So after user guesses that secret number, it's not going to go on forever. It's going to break it. Let's go ahead and test it again. So let's go ahead and test this out again. I'm going to enter in another number. I'm going to do 10. So sorry, keep guessing. And then it prints out, enter another number on another line. So... If I go back to my code, I just want to show you that slash n prints out, enter another number on a new line under sorry, keep guessing. If we remove that, then it's all going to be on the same sentence. So I just wanted to show that for you guys. But I like to modify the output. I think it's fun. So let's keep on guessing. I'm gonna I'm gonna put in here eight and then nine. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six was a secret number. And you can see here, it says, yeah, you guessed the secret number. And it's not printing out multiple ones of those. It ends it. That's because we have our break under our print statement. So the while loop knows after it finds the secret number, it's going to print out that statement. And then it's going to break, which means it's going to exit and stop the while loop. So using break is super important. Going back to my random um, module. 
What I'm going to do is I want to test a different range of numbers. I'm going to try a range um, from one through five. I want to actually try to guess the number like on the first try. So I'm going to see if I can do a smaller range and try to guess it. Let me edit that statement from a range of one through five because it said one through ten. Let's edit that out. Fix that. And okay, I don't know why I put six. It is not in our range. Four. Mm. Uh, okay. It was five. It was five. Okay. I'm going to try a bigger range. Let's try a range from one through 20. While looking over this video, trying to find the secret number in the range from one through 20 was very difficult and it took. It took a while. So, so you don't have to sit here and watch me go through multiple numbers and repeat the same number. I'm going to speed this up. So from a range of 1 through 20, 9 was a secret number. So yeah, everyone, that was how we created a while loop. And we also used the break to break out of our while loop. We imported the random module and we used the random integer generator function. And yeah, 